There is a lot of money to be made on Redbubble, but you've got to know what the customers are searching for and buying if you want to be successful. So today I'm going to show you how you can easily find profitable niches for free. This is probably the question that I get asked most often, what niche should I target or how can I discover profitable niches? This is how we're going to do it using this free tool. You might have seen it before, you might not but I'm going to show you the way that I use it to identify profitable niches, which not only have high demand, but also have low competition. That way we can make sure there's already thousands of people searching for our product before we even create it, and there aren't many other people to compete against either. This website might look a little bit confusing at first if you've not used it before, but don't worry, I will explain all of the features on it. It's worth taking just a few minutes to listen to how it works so you can extract this information and use it to boost your sales on Redbubble. So first of all, up here on the right hand side, you can see it says last updated 14th of September 2020, updated every Monday. So it's only updated once a week. This information down here isn't live. So when you click and actually follow through to some of the links on here, the results might be slightly different. But also Monday is a very important day because the database on here is updated meaning that you will be one of the first people to figure out what is selling and what's changed in popularity on Redbubble over the last seven days. So Monday's a good day to come back and do that. Up here where it says show 25 entries, just change that to 100 so we get access to more information. If you've been on Redbubble for any length of time, you'll have probably noticed there's quite a bit of copyright infringement and intellectual property theft because it depends on someone reporting an actual listing for it to get removed. So we need to see a lot more entries because there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're not going to be able to use on here that's popular, but it will get your account shut down. So there's four columns up here that are really important. Popularity, popularity again, results and results again. So let me explain what these are. The popularity one here, you can see it's in sequential order by default, this little blue triangle thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, it goes down the list. So number one is the most popular item on Redbubble and the lower number in here means it's a more popular item. Laptop stickers is the most popular thing on Redbubble at the moment that people are searching for. Obviously, that's not a niche that you can target. It's just a product that they're looking for. This popularity information is provided by Redbubble and updated once a week on this website. So the next popularity tab here is the change over the last seven days. So it shows the variance in popularity of each tag compared to the week before. So if you click it, you can sort by that and you can see the little icon's gone to a different color. That's the lowest one, so it's lost popularity by 7,400. And if we click it again, it's gained popularity by 7,900. The next one over is results, which indicates how many artworks contain a certain tag. So you can look down here and see how many results are actually on Redbubble. The next one over is results again, but this is the change over the last seven days. So you can see that all these down here are being removed for whatever reason, whether the artist has done that or Redbubble have removed it for copyright. And if we scroll down, I'll hopefully be able to find some that have got plus, like this one. So there's been 23 extra Astro World sweatshirts added since the last seven days. You'll see on the right here, there's also a search box. So if you do have a niche, you can put your information in there and hopefully it'll pop up. Remember, this website is only going to show the top 10,000 results on Redbubble. So if your niche falls outside of the top 10,000 results, it won't come up on here. So just as an example, I will type in cat. Obviously, cat's going to be in the top 10,000. You can see it picks up all different results. It's got this dream catcher because it says cat in it, but it's also got cat specific stuff too. So we'll get rid of that and I'll show you what I actually do to research niches on here. When it comes to popularity, it doesn't really matter anything on the first 10,000 results is fine. If you can get them under 5,000, that's even better, but 10,000 is plenty enough to be making sales. Popularity here, that's really useful to use to see what's actually up and coming for whatever reason. Sometimes you won't know because there's so much stuff on this website, you won't know why it's popular or what it even is, but that's why you have to research so you don't get yourself in trouble using someone else's copyrighted material or intellectual property. So you can see this one is the most popular over the last seven days. It's become massively popular. It's now ranked 2002. It's gone up 7,973 and there's only 355 results. So there's massive demand and very little competition. So the popularity sections are looking at demand and the results are looking at competition. So for whatever reason, there's been 205 removals and the product is 
I think you should leave. I found out that it's a Netflix TV show, so that's probably the reason why there's so many removals on there. Copyright infringement. But that's why we need to look down the results and make sure there's something that we can actually use. When I'm looking down this results column, I tend to look for things that have got less than 2,000 results. You can do whatever you want, you can use whatever numbers you prefer, but I just find it easier to compete if there's less than 2,000 people selling things in the category already. It makes it more likely that your work's going to be found. So we can look down here, and straight away the second one, although it's gained popularity massively, it has 23,000 results. So Minimalist Flowers is quite a vague open tag. I'm not surprised it has so many results. It's definitely not copyright infringement, Flowers, but there's just too many results for me to bother competing in that category. I wouldn't, I'd just leave it alone and look on something else. So it's a case of going down the list and just having a look. Is it popular enough? Is it gaining in popularity? It doesn't have to be this much popularity. And are the results low enough for you to compete? The final thing that you'll need to check is what is it? Because if it's something that you don't understand, you're not going to be able to create good artwork for it. So I don't know what MTM is. And the other important thing is making sure it's not copyright infringement or intellectual property theft because you don't want to be getting yourself in trouble. So you can see here Draco Malfoy t-shirts. It's very likely that this is not allowed on Redbubble unless you do something sneaky that just bypasses copyright and is fair use for whatever reason. If you're not sure about that, then I do have a video about that already, explaining a bit about copyright, fair use, and trademarks, things like that. So check that out. But what I do is just go down the list and check what's available, making sure that there isn't anything that violates copyright. I like to organize by the change in popularity so I can see what's trending over the last seven days and then just slowly go down the list, making my way down and having a look what's changed. You can see at the bottom here, it's showing 1 to 100 of 10,000 entries. So you've got a lot of information to work with and it's just a case of going down the list and checking what's available and what you think is worth targeting. So like I said, those are the criteria that I tend to use. If something is gaining popularity so fast, I am rather suspicious of it. It is often a case that people will target things like TV shows or music or bands or things like that that are very, very popular, but they shouldn't be using the intellectual property of someone else. So I'll have a look down, see what there is. Page two, page three, page four, page five, and you can have a look and the numbers are, are slowly going down. Just have a look what's available and do some further research to make sure that you can actually use what's on there. This tool gives us some clarity into what's actually in demand at the moment and how many results there are without having to manually look up on Redbubble, which is really useful. This gives you a massive advantage over 99% of people using Redbubble. Remember, the way that most people use it is just to upload whatever they want and hope for the best. There's no strategy involved. They'll just design whatever they like and hope it sells. They often don't fill in the tags, the description, the title, or anything correctly either. So by using this tool, you're already way ahead of the competition. It gives you all the information that you need to know, but you've still got to have good designs, tag right, and do all the other stuff, which I've already talked about in my previous videos. If you don't know how to do all that, don't worry about it. I've got all the videos available on my channel. You can have a look back, find out how to tag, find out how to design even without skills or even how to outsource the design process. It's all available on my channel for you to go have a look for free. This website is really useful. You might be wondering why this person would offer it for free. Well, there is a button on here to buy this person a coffee if you want to say thank you. And also all the links are affiliate links. So if anyone clicks one of these links and then buys something through Redbubble, they are affiliated with Redbubble, so they get a commission too. So I'm sure they're earning a fair bit from this website. I'll put more details down in the description, including a link to the website, as well as some further explanation that will be helpful for you. There is also a Redbubble tag generator, which is described on the website as being able to generate a list of the top 50 best-selling tags on Redbubble, starting with one tag that you provide which sounds amazing, but it's not actually available yet. It's a work in progress. If you're watching this video far into the future from September 2020, then it might be available now. And if it is, I'll put a link in the description. I'm sure that will be very useful for us as well. Any questions, put them in the comments and I will see you in my next video.